Hello traders everywhere, Adam Hewison here, co-founder of Market Club with your 1 p.m. market update for Monday the 22nd of August. So we wake up this morning with a potential conflict in Libya over. In Libya's, Libya's Colonel Gaddafi's 42-year reign of insanity has come to an end, maybe. Based on that news, the Dow rallies up over 200 points. Let's see, that little conflict cost the U.S. about a trillion dollars that we don't have. That's money we don't have. How could that be good for the market? Now we are tying the, ec the news in Libya to the markets here and the terrible economic conditions that exist. It is a stretch by anyone's imagination. The truth is that the markets probably rallied based on a short covering by many active, many active traders went home short markets this weekend. When the markets did not follow through on the downside, they quickly covered their short positions and pushed the market higher. So here's my advice. Do not pay any attention to the news. Let the market and the price action give you all the direction you need. That's the only, need, that's the only news you need to be a successful trader. Okay, now let's go to the markets, the six markets we track, and we have three extra bonus markets for you today to watch. But I also have something else. If you would, don't forget to watch this show, the Market Club TV show, this Wednesday at 5 p.m. We'll be covering all the markets and taking your questions. And here's how you can get your questions on the show. Be part of next week's show, this week's show, I should say, by calling 410-867-2100, extension 129. It's a free call. Leave a message. You can ask us about, uh, give us your feedback about the markets, about Market Club, about stocks, futures. Ask questions about that. Do you have a particular indicator you'd like to have some clarification on? We'll cover all those things. So don't forget, call us up at the number 410-867-2100, extension 129. It's on the screen, and leave your questions. So let's go to the markets, and we're starting off where I normally start off, which is right at my home page, and I'm going to go to the portfolio section. And this is what we're going to be doing look today, is that we're going to be looking at the markets, six major markets we look at every day, and then we're also going to be looking at some bonus markets. And here what the bonus markets are, Bank of America, Citigroup, and Hewlett Packard, all of which have been in the news big time. I want to show you just how the triangles worked and how they can work for you. So first market is going to be the S&P 500. And we're looking at just a simple chart. You can see here we're back at a very key level here, the 1226, 1126 rather. If we break below this level, I think we're going to go below. I think the market's headed lower. I think we'll see uh, further downside pressure and uh, a test of the 1,000 level. So trade triangles out basically at 12.96 on the weekly, then got short at 12.58. This is not looking back, by the way. We do this dynamically. We're not trying to uh, sort of put these little arrows in after the fact of these little triangles. These are all done dynamically throughout the day. So we have a lot of markets to go with. So let's go to our next market. And the next market is going to be silver. And as you know, we had a buy signal on silver right here at 42.20. It's 43.30 last. And so it's up $1 since we basically had the signal. And that signal came on 8.19. So last week, last Friday, we had a signal to buy this market. And it looks like it's certainly acting a lot better. Actually, actually last Thursday. So it looks like it's acting a lot better. And we're going to see this market high. But we've been long silver. Look at our long-term monthly, 1874. It's doubled that. And our last weekly was 42.20, which we told you about. And our last daily was 39.81. So these are triangles we put on there for you. But let's look at the big market, the one everyone's talking about, gold. That just made new highs today. It's getting closer and closer to the magical $2,000 an ounce level. But look at the levels we've got in at. 14.30, that was our last major signal for the trend on a monthly basis. You can see, we can scope this out just a little bit further. We have to go quite a bit, for, quite a bit back. Here it is, 1430 on March 1st of this year. So we've not wavered from our monthly, this is for long-term traders. Intermediate-term traders would certainly be right here, the weekly at 1557. So that's over $300 an ounce on a contract in New York. That is approximately $30,000 you would have made just since July 15th, or in this case, July 13th. So that's what you have. It looks as though we're getting magnetized, pulled up towards that $2,000 range. Uh, 
Oh, we'll, we'll see profit taking there? Yes, I believe we will. Will we see professional shorting? Yes, I think we will. There's a lot of people along this market, but providing everything stays the same. The economic conditions, the concern, the worry, the fear about the banks, and we'll be covering those later on in this broadcast, this market's going to probably continue to go higher. So let's go to our next market, and this is crude oil. Uh, this market basically had a little blip up today because of the Libyan situation. Made no sense whatsoever. The trend is down in this market. And that's all you have to be aware of. The trend is down. And it got negative at 94 and to 82. That's $12,000 a contract on a full contract. So this market is headed lower. How low can it go? Well, how high can gold go? How low or how high a market goes is not the most important thing. The important thing is to trade with the trend. That's one of the big secrets. And most traders don't get that. They tend to want to try to pick a top, pick a bottom, get in, and really get cut up in some of these choppy markets. We'll be talking about that next. But look at the trends. The big trends persist. You can see here the monthly kicked in at 95, 85. The market's 83. The weekly kicked in at 94.02 and the daily at 84.40. So all of these are profitable in this particular configuration. The trade triangles make money. They don't lie to you. They don't. It's not like a news story. They'll just come out and talk about one point of view. This is the market. This is what you should pay attention to. This is what you really need to watch to be successful as a trader. So let's go to our next market. This is the dollar index. We've talked about this market, how it's just going nowhere. And we've been going nowhere since May of this year. And despite everyone saying, oh, the collapse of the dollar, the collapse of the dollar, it really hasn't happened yet. In order for this market to get a lot of pressure, you can see right now we're mixed. 55 plus 55, that's a trading range, friends. That's not a trend. That's a trading range. You've got a conflict between the monthly and the weekly. That gives you the neutral trading range scenario that we've talked about. So you should be looking to use the tools we talked about. And let's just put a little bit of a, um, oh, let's go three months. And we'll put the canceling charts in here. And you can see, basically, it's just really choppy, 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 choppy. So let's go back to our line chart. I prefer that today. Um, and you can see this market just hasn't gone anywhere per se. So let's go to our next market. And this is the Reuters Jeffries CRB index. As you know, my bias has been towards the upside in this market. However, we're not going to ignore the trend. And that's the key thing. It doesn't matter what you think. We had a blog just last week. And you may want to read that if you haven't seen our blog lately. It doesn't matter what you think or what I think. It's what the market thinks. And what the market does is the bottom line. You can see we got basically negative here at 338.54. The market's at 330, not a big deal. But the longer term trend what came in at 335. So it's not that big a deal. Um, it hasn't moved that much, but generally speaking, and we can scope this out and get a lot more. You can see, let's just take all these off the screen. You can see this market's had a pretty big move down. That was back in when crude oil hit $140 a barrel. Big move down. We've moved up. Have we come back up? Maybe uh, Fibonacci? Let's take a look. So you just grab it here, grab down to here, and look at this. There's a perfect Fibonacci retracement, 61.8% at 369.09. We've talked about these Fibonacci retracements time and time again. And this is how you can tell when the markets are going to turn, in my opinion. Sometimes they don't work, but for the most part, they're pretty doggone accurate. So let's go to our next market. This is something we don't normally talk about. We'll be talking about it today. And that's going to be Bank of America. Looks absolutely terrible. Terrible. No words can describe how bad the stock looks. I'm going to scope this in closer to six months. And I'm going to, it's a new low today, but I'm going to put this action today is very, very negative. This market couldn't even rally today when we had the 200 point rally in the Dow. It got a little bit higher, boom, collapsed. So here we are. We're down today. It would look, if we close down at these levels, the lowest close prior to this was 677. We're, clo we're trading currently at 663. New low close, negative, no question about it. These The bank stocks are, ba are in trouble. And the other thing we talked about, and I think we showed you in our um, last week's show, but I'll show it to you right now. I'll get the illustrator on here. This is a very, very bearish pattern. 
and it's one if you haven't seen it before you may want to look so here we are here we are we have the down uh, let me just take this off the screen before I do anything uh, boom boom okay now let me get my illustrator I don't want to draw over the top of it here it is so we've have it we have the down like this and then we have this type of pattern here this is not bullish at all we can measure from here to here and we have a target zone for this particular stock of five dollars a share that's how how far this market can move down on the upside. Is it going to happen in one day? No. Is it going to happen over several months? Yes, it will. But even going from 664, where we're currently trading, down to $5 is a huge percentage move. And that's the important thing when you're trading. Look at the percentages. So let me clear this off the screen. We'll go to our next market. And the next market we're looking at is the Citigroup C, symbol C, look at this. This just acts the same way, same type of pattern. If you look at this pattern, we talked about it um, in the show, and that is you have the almost identical to Bank of America down move like this. This is actually a, a what they call a triangle continuation pattern. So you move, you measure from this point here down to here, and you project that down. And this market's going to go probably down to the 20. I'm thinking about the 17, 18 level uh, based on the measurement. Here you went from 40 down to looks like maybe, let's say, 28 would be, be kind. So from 28, uh, that's 12, uh, 40 to 28 minus 12, take 28 from 12 from 30, takes you down to 18. So that's where we think this market's going to go. Another huge percentage. The banks are in trouble. That's why gold's going up. So why not be short the banks? It sounds like a good trade to me. So let's look at our next market. Let me clear the screen right now and look at our next market. And the next market we're looking at is going to be a disaster in the making, HP. What a disaster. This is a stock. Now, this is what I want to share, share with you today with the trade triangles. Here we are back here, the 15th of March. We had a major signal to be short this market. Now, here's the signal at 41. It's right here. It's never wavered, never wavered. Did we know they were going to get out of the PC business? No. Did we know they're going to get out of the touchpad business? No, we had no clue. But the reality is the markets were telling you there are people that knew more about the situation than we did. But they have to discuss that, and the market picks this up. And this is what we've been in a steady trend. And this is not over yet. We're going to go lower. And that's the bottom line. Hey, this is Adam Hughes. We've been rambling on for a while here, but we've talked about some very big concepts. News, don't pay too much attention to it. We've talked about how important the trade triangles are and how when they kick in, just like silver, three or four days ago, it's, it's, uh, it's almost a profit right away. Not all the time, but almost right away. Here you're looking at HP back in March at $41 a share. Who would have predicted that it would go to 24 That's the bottom line. Nobody can predict exactly where the markets go, but the trends persist for longer than you expect. So, hey, this is Adam Houston. I'll be here tomorrow, same time, same place, 1 o'clock. Please tune in and listen to me. And also, we'll be doing our show this Wednesday at 5 with Susan Jackson, so definitely stop and watch that show. Every success trading, I want you to be a successful trader.